everyone, I'm Grottles, and today in House Flipper, I'm just going to give you my thoughts and reviews on the Garden Flippers DLC for the PS4. Um, overall, I really enjoy it. I like it a lot. There's only a few things that, uh, give, you know, that bug me a little bit. Um, last time I was on, I just reviewed the store and did a walkthrough of the store itself and just gave you my little bit of uh, opinions and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, uh, I'll link that up in the description below, so if you want to check that out, you can. Also, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. It really does help a lot and it's appreciated. Um, but today, let's go ahead into the store itself. And let's just look through it really quickly. Um, animals, I have no problem with. Uh, no, no subcategories needed. Looks pretty good. Decorations, again, you get your subcategories. Really nice. Uh, fences. Okay, so this is my, uh, deal with fences. Um, I had mentioned this in the store uh, review. Um, I don't like that it's not subcategoried and it doesn't help you to find the right posts for the right uh, gate or fence. We only get one gate, that is, that is an issue. Um, I would like to see more gates. This does not match up with some of these fences and it doesn't look rather nice with them. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the fence itself. Uh, let's just grab uh, a fence here. Um, part of what I don't like about the fence. Um, I like the fence a lot. But when you go to place them, sometimes they're really hard to get them to line up. Sometimes you can get it perfect every time. Um, but sometimes just the way you are standing, you can't see it properly. Now that one I did get pretty good. I think I got it right on both sides. But, um, sometimes these can be really hard to line up and snap together. Because they don't snap together, actually. Um, then like I said before, trying to find the right post to fit on the edge here can be a bit of a problem. You kind of have to go into the fence itself and then take note of the fence uh, name, which is half high cross fence. And then when you go back, you can see this says cross fence. So you automatically assume this has got to be the right post. But when you go ahead and grab that one, you see right away this is not the right post. So then you got to go back and go back and try to find the right post. So now as I go through, I'm going to have to look for the right post, which this seems like the right one because this is the pillar of high cross fence. So this is the correct one and we can place it and I placed it wrong. So like I said, it's really hard to find the post that you're looking for. And then it's really sometimes hard to line this up and get it right on the edge. But um, again, it's minor stuff, um, but it is a hassle just to look through the store. The lineup, I mean, you could work with it and pick it up and put it back down, but I wish they would have subcategoried this into um, categories with what fence matches what post, and then I wish they had a matching gate for each fence, but you don't get that. Um, so overall, that that's minor, but it's something. Um, into the kids, that's fine. You don't get too many things, it's just some play equipment. Furniture is nice. Uh, we get quite a few subcategories. You could pretty much find 
um, what you want. Um, also, there is a trick if, if you don't find like the matching sofa to go with the armchair because they don't do it in collections. I wish they had not only like a subcategory for armchairs and benches, but also like a collections set. So like this is called the Modular M Meridy. Um, I wish they had like the Meridy collection. Same thing with like, it was the same with kitchens. Uh, trying to go through like different kitchens and stuff. You know, there's so many different um, styles. So if they would have subcategoried in, into a collection, it would have made it easier for you to match up your furniture. Um, next up is lights. We get a little bit of variety that, with this, mostly just the solar plant panels. Um, I think we really only get one standing um, light, which is this one. So, which is quite tall. It almost looks like uh, it should be out on the street more than your house. But um, it would have been nice to see maybe a lamppost, you know, right over here. But a lot shorter, obviously, because this is a bit tall. Um, the only hanging um, light fixture we get for the outside is this one, which I have purchased. Let me get out of here. Over here. And it does turn on. So that is nice, but I would have liked to see a little bit more of a variety with the light on the houses as well. Because I think we could have used a couple of different style house lights that go on the outside. Um, but overall, it's nice. It's nice to have that they turn on and stuff like that. So I'm pretty happy about that. Next, we'll go to other. This is just kind of. Again, I think they have this in the house, flipper one, just a random thrown together kind of thing. I don't know why, like, this technically could have went into decorations. Um, so some of this stuff could have really been more of a decorative thing. I don't know if this sprinkler works. I don't think it does. Um, so it's more decorative anyway. So it could have really be put on decorative but it actually does work so that could be like a decorative water feature i would say so that probably could have just gone into that category um with the ponds and stuff like that um but overall i mean it's it's cute i like that it works and stuff like that um i did mention this in the store one uh, my other episode scarecrows we don't get a variety we get one scarecrow. It would have been nice to have a couple of different choices. So, um, yeah, that, that kind of uh, just bothers me a little bit. Just that we don't have a variety. Like here we get so many different colors of this cute little wooden fan. The compost, we get different colors. So I thought with the scarecrow, I mean, it would have been nice to see a little yellow, a little red. You know, little different colors with that. But... It is what it is. Again, it's not a big deal, but it's just something that I would have liked to see more of. Next up is plants. I have no gripe with the plants. I think they subcategory this nicely, um, and it works well. Um, we got pools. This was something I talked about in the store uh, episode I did. Um, no variety of pools. We get the same pool 14 times, the same shape, the same size, just a different um, texture on tiles. So I, I really don't understand why uh, they couldn't put a couple of more different shapes and stuff. We have the same like teardrop pool. There's no variety of pools at all. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I really would have liked to see a little bit different um, pool shapes. I mean, this one is bigger, as you can see. And then we got this one. That's the same size. But then you go up here, and then we get these. That's all we get. There's no, like, curved shaped. There's no, 
This is the wrong picture for the wrong shape pool, which is kind of odd. This is like that teardrop pool, but yet when you look, it's a rectangle. Uh, so that's in the wrong thing. That should be a different picture altogether. So when you press on it, that is a completely wrong shape. So if you're just looking at these and you're like going through it quickly, this is actually marked wrong. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's really just, like I said, just the two shapes and, you know, different concrete or tile. So I would have really liked to see a little bit more of that. Um, recreation, completely fine. Get nice subcategories for that. Uh, you can find things pretty quickly. Accessories. I mean, it's really only the projector and the cinema. Um, I don't know what else they could really add to that. But um, then we go down to structures. Um, in structures, we get bridges. Really nice. Again, we get the subcategories. We get the freestanding pools. This is no problem with this at all. I really like that. Here's where I have the major issues. Surfaces. Um, let's start with the paving slabs. Love the variety. Wish this could have been subcategoried. Again, I think I said this in my store review, but there are so many sizes in here and shape well not shapes but you get the rectangle the square and there's different sizes to them i wish they would have subcategoried this down a little bit more you get like the 50 by 50 here you get the 100 by 25 um again 120 by 25 then this is wider so this is 100 by 50 so i think this could have really been at least subcategory down by size you know this way it's so much easier to find the size you want placement on these is such a pain um when you get them i think i just bought one but um let me go ahead and get another one um they overlap and yet you could place them side by side so when you're trying to place them i mean look at I could place them on top of each other and then to try to place them next to each other perfectly and then you can spin them around and then you can place them down they're just I wish they locked together somehow um, that you would get a little bit easier placement now these are the flat ones you also get these square ones um, let me just give you a show of the square ones here. Um, these are annoying. You place one. Now, again, I bought one. Um, when you purchase and you try to place, now you can slightly overlap them. You could slightly overlap them by a little, a lot, or you can place them next to each other. When you're trying to place these, you have to take so much time and effort to place these just perfectly so this way they're not off because if they off just by a little bit and you overlap it then it doesn't match and then you can actually overlap it again so it's i think kind of no lines like that and if you're trying to lay these in quick quickly or even with a little bit less effort you really have to put a lot of effort into getting these to line up just nice. Um, as you can see up here, there's a little bit more of a gap between that one and that one. Then there's less of a gap. Then there's more of a gap. Um, they're very hard to place. So I think I've kind of made my point with that. Um, let's just get rid of these. And um, we'll move on. So next up is the um, where is it? The gravel. So 
you get the sand, the wood shavings, the bark, and the gravel. Again, um, this is so tough to place in a nice straight line. So if you're trying to place this down, I love the size difference. You can get, you can enlarge and decrease the size, which is nice. But when you're trying to put this into a straight line, I don't know what they could do to kind of help you to really get this to line up straight. I don't know whether it would help to have just like um, grids or something, but this is so difficult to try to get a nice straight line in. And maybe it's made not to have a straight line, but um, it can be aggravating. I'm not gonna lie. Um, other than that, I mean, it's easy to kind of erase. If you hold the trigger button down and just run this back and forth, it will erase it quite easily. Um, so yeah, that that's a little bit of an issue for me. Um, then we got the turf. The turf is... Uh, it can be a pain to place. Now, with the lawnmower, when you take out your lawnmower... It kind of um, makes everything invisible, so you can actually uh, have no problem running the lawnmower through. But when you're putting sod down, if anything is in your way, you can't just pick up. So if I back off of this, I can't pick up and move this. So now I have to get back into it, cut it off, and then go back to the store, rebuy the turf, and then put it down and roll it out. And then I constantly have to do that every time I hit an object. So it's not even the fact that they don't make the objects invisible uh, like this for the lawnmower. So everything in its way will go away. So you can just run the lawnmower. Um, if they did that, it would make it a lot more, uh, it would make it a lot easier for you to place the turf down but um they don't even give you the ability to pick the turf up move it and then place it back down you, you have to repurchase it every time so that to me is a huge issue i don't i don't like it um so i wish they would just kind of either make everything invisible or allow you to pick it up and place it back down somewhere else and then keep rolling it out um, there's only one other thing I really wanted to mention was, in this, um, episode, I cut down all my large trees in my yard, and I did that so I can clear it out and really kind of give you a clean place to look at all the stuff that I was reviewing, and what I realized is, you cannot replace these trees. Once you cut down these large trees... There is no way of putting back any huge trees. Um, in the plants, you do get trees. Um, I don't think they grow. I, I don't think so. I can't be sure, but I don't think they grow. Um, they do give you a couple of trees. Um, again, they're not very big. They're not going to be what you cut down. So just be mindful of, I think if you cut down these large trees, that you cannot get them back. So, um, yeah, I think that's it for my review. Uh, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree, disagree, um, what your thoughts are. If you wanted to add to it, uh, let me know. Um, so if you like my content and would like to see more, please click the like button and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.